Hi everyone. In this video, we will be doing some CPU testing using Blender. Everything that we're testing today uses native Blender 3.6 with its fluid simulation. And you don't have to have any paid add-ons or anything to do this, so everyone should be able to do it. Uh, we're gonna benchmark our processors with um, some files that I'll show you how to get here in just a second. Uh, they should be really easy to run. You just download them, uh, open them up, and they'll set up right where they need to go. So the way to get the files is uh, check the video description. I'll have a link to my Patreon page. Files are free to get. You don't have to be a paid member and you can join there for free as a member on Patreon too, if you want. Um, so check the description, but you can also come into the community tab and find one of these posts with this little fluid simulation on it. Um, click the link. It'll take you right to the post on Patreon and you can download these two files here. I'll probably share files through YouTube eventually, but I don't have the ability to yet. So um, this is the only good way for me to share files at the moment. So they're very small files. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download them. And you can see they've already downloaded. So I'm gonna, I'm going to open up my uh, downloads folder here. And you can see that the files are in my downloads. So what I what I need to do is put them in separate folders. So I'm just going to um, add new folders here and I'm just gonna slide these into the folders and then I can just go ahead and open them right up. So I'm gonna start off with the uh, CPU Fluid Test Lite. So there's two versions of this. Uh, one's easier to run, one's a little harder to run. The easy one should be good with 16 gigs of system RAM. You may get away with less RAM, uh, it just depends on what else you have open, basically. Uh, the heavy one may take into the 20s of gigabytes of system RAM, so um, you'll just have to see what you can run. But I'm going to run these separately. So when you open the file, uh, again, this is Blender 3.6. You'll see this little scene here. I'll go to X-ray mode so you can see what we're dealing with. Um, this cube up on top here will become the fluid, and uh, these other objects are just um, basically obstacles for the fluid to interact with. Uh, but that's what the scene is. It's pretty simple. So all the materials and everything are already in here. You don't have to add material or anything like that. So when you open this, you'll see the cache options on the right side. Um, this this option here allows you to decide where the fluid cache will be saved. Uh, it's automatically going to load with the two slashes here, which says it'll save all your files where your um, fluid simulation blender file is saved. So since these are already in separate folders, we should be good to go. If you don't have them in separate folders, the second time you run the other benchmark scene, it'll reuse the data and you won't get a good result. So um, basically once your folders are set up, all you have to do is hit bake all. Now this is the light scene. It won't take my system very long. Um, so if you guys want to run these and report the results in comments, that would probably be the best place. Uh, if you don't want me to credit your username with the test result, I will still use the result, but just, just note in the comment you don't want your name on there. Um, when you report them, give us the CPU that you have and what your RAM configuration is. So size and speed of RAM would be awesome. And then we can compare all the different CPUs and the different RAM configurations that people have so we can get an idea of how those system specs affect uh, fluid simulation baking. So what you're going to want to do is you can follow the timeline here at the bottom. It's 50 frames. When this gets done, you need to look at the bottom of your Blender file and it'll report the amount of time Blender took to run it. So it doesn't last very long. So you have to be watching. My computer did this in 60.1 seconds. So it pops up and then it goes away. If you miss it, I haven't found a way to recall that info anywhere. Um, so you may have to run it again, um, which is annoying, but you can also just manually time this on your own. Um, and then, you know, it's a little easier to keep track of that way, but this is what the scene looks like. This is the fluid it's creating and this pink cube gets in the way. So I'll pause this. If you want to see what it looks like, um, we're in solid view mode here. Just come up here and click on the material preview mode and it'll get rid of that domain cube from your view. And now you can see what the fluid simulation looks like and you can scrub through the frames to see what it's done. Okay, so um, yeah, if you wanna report results so we can compare, 
that would be great. I'm going to run this on a few of my different processors, but I don't have very many different models, um, just three or four. So I don't have the ability to test them all. That's why I'm asking the community to also test. So, but that's it. So that time result is what we really want to know. Uh, when you're done with that one, you can just close the file, do whatever you want with the files. Um, you know, they're for everyone. So keep them, modify them, make renders, whatever you want to do. Uh, but I'm going to open up the heavy test now. Now this one takes my system about four or five times longer. It's the same setup though. So everything, all the objects are the same. Um, it's still 50 frames, but we've increased the resolution of the fluid simulation a lot. So that makes the interactions of the fluid particles uh, a lot harder to run and it makes this test more intense. But you don't have to do anything else. Just open the file and hit bake again and it'll save all of your cache data to the folder you created. Now this one takes my system a few minutes, so I'll probably cut the video here soon. Um, but while we're watching this for a second, if you can think of a way to improve this test or to test different parts of the system, then uh, get in the comments and share those. You know, I, I think this is just a good first start, but there's probably a lot of different ways we can test our computers. If you haven't seen my GPU tests, um, go check those out. I do a lot of live streams and test a whole bunch of different GPUs for rendering speed. Um, so hopefully you guys can make good comparisons on shopping around for those. Uh, yeah, but you can see here, my system is the Ryzen 9 5950X 16 core CPU, uh, which is 16 cores, 32 threads. The RAM I have is 64 gigabytes of DDR4 with 3600 mega, uh, megahertz speed. So um, DDR4 3600, and I have all four slots populated, which may or may not matter. Um, but when you guys report these results, just give me the CPU that you used and how your RAM is set up. As you can see here, uh, this is the heavy scene. I'm only using a little over 12 gigs of system RAM. So depending on what all you have open on your computer, uh, you may even be able to run this heavy scene on 16 gigs, but um, it just really depends. So uh, we'll watch that here as it runs to make sure it doesn't get much higher than this. But um, as long as you don't fill this RAM entirely on your computer, you should be fine to run the scene without an issue. Uh, here you can see all the threads running. So fluid simulations are fairly intense. Um, I know Windows says the utilization is 50 to 60%. That's not really true. Uh, there's so much loading that occurs with this sort of processing. Um, so it kind of it kind of throws off the utilization graph a little, but the more intense the fluid sim, the more fully utilized your CPU is. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to see what everybody's processors can do, and I'm going to go run this on a few of mine. And I'll report those results, but um, I've got my spreadsheet set up here. Um, I have all my different GPU tests listed here, and I've created a new one for these CPU test scenes. So when I get results in, again, if you don't want your username to be shared, then just let me know in the comment, but give me your CPU and RAM specs and any other specs you think might be important. And we will build a database of test results. So uh, most of the time when people test CPUs, it's in generic rendering stuff like Cinebench, and those tests are great, but uh, this is a good way to get some Blender physics tests going. And uh, it'll be really cool to see what everyone has. But this thing's almost done. So just four more frames, and then I'll get the speed result again. What you want to do is you want to watch the bottom of your screen, of your Blender file here, uh, for that little time report that pops up. If you miss it, you won't be able to find the, informa uh, the information again. I found that like Flip Fluids add-on will give you more details about the baking time, but the native Blender Fluid Sim does not give you that information. So just watch the bottom of your screen. Mine's almost done here. It's got just one more frame to calculate, and then we will show the result. And any second now. Two hundred fifty six point zero nine seconds. So you can see it disappears pretty quick. Um, but now our little simulation is visible on the screen and I can play the timeline to see what it looks like, but you can see this one has significantly more detail. 
Um, and this just shows how much harder it is when you crank up the resolution on these simulations. I mean, even playing this back, my, my computer is struggling. Um, but yeah, so once you've used these files, do whatever you want with them. Uh, keep them, use them, change them up, and uh, we'll go from there. So yeah, if you think of any ways to tune this test or to, to even create new entirely different tests, uh, we can test storage, we can test all kinds of things. Just let me know and we'll build something. But yeah, so next thing I'm going to do is just record my results in here and uh, we'll go from there. But that's it for now. Again, go to Patreon, download these files for free. Uh, if you want to be a member, when you come to my page, if um, my page will look a little different, but you can join as a free member without, without paying per month. I also have some uh, paid tiers for GPU rendering. So if you want to outsource your GPU rendering, I can do some of that for you too. Um, but I also, I also share um, other files on here. So I have some tutorial files that um, I'll use for like character tutorials and stuff like that. So if you're interested, that's there for you. Um, otherwise, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. And if this was helpful or you find this interesting, hit all those fancy YouTube buttons and I hope to see you soon.